Well, hello there everyone. Today I'm experimenting with some alien-esque basing ideas. I wanted to do a kind of volume two for my how to make your own texture paint video. If you've not seen that, then I'll link it below. Feel free to check that out. This time I wanted to find something fitting for my Vaporwave Tyranid color scheme. So I'm using some more vibrant, unnatural colors. I'm starting out by doing some small experiments to see which materials I'm going to use. And straight off the bat, I can see that combining crackle paint with ink is a no-no. It seems like the ink compromises the integrity of the crackle paint, so let's not do that. But thickening up the crackle paint? I just think it's not worth the effort. If you've bought crackle paint, just leave it alone. I wanted to see what just splodging a super thick coat of regular acrylic paint would do. If it would crack or create some kind of texture, but uh, it didn't really. This is actually one of the more interesting results. Gloss medium and ink. I like the luminosity and the way it started to crinkle as it dried. It looks very alien gooey. This one is gloss medium and pigment. I think this is definitely promising as a Martian kind of earth texture. This is the same, but with added marbling ink. The water based and solvent materials naturally repel each other, so add a kind of bubbliness, which I like, and obviously the metallic element changes the look quite a lot too. This one I continued with the same theme by mixing the marbling ink with water based acrylic paint which slightly simplifies the process down to two materials, and I think it works just as well. This one is literally just straight out of the tube. This pre-coloured wood filler, which would be a good budget earth texture by itself, but I wanted to change up the colours, so I tried adding ink. It does make the mixture more fluid and lose some of its texture making capabilities, so I don't think it's going to be the one for me. For this one, I added water texture to the same mix, and it does create an interesting gel texture, but I think there's simpler ways of achieving this sort of effect. This, for example, is just water texture and pigment, which makes a really thick texture and maintains a super vibrant colour. Here I've added additional sand, which is probably the thickest and craggiest texture I've ever made. The final one I wanted to show is wood filler, painted with a layer of speed paint and then sanded to reveal some of the original colour underneath. I think there's potential to create some interesting patterns with this. Okay, so after my preliminary tests, I decided these eight were of the most interest to me. So now it's time for some more experiments on a larger scale. It's time to get the Pringles lids out again. Let's splodge some wood filler on here and let it dry. Then I painted a layer of speed paint and sanded the tops off. This is actually pretty nice and still quite natural looking, even though it's an unearthly colour, but it has potential. Pigment, gloss medium and marbling ink mix around. This is a very subtle texture. It has a lot of interest, but it's still quite flat, so maybe it has less impact from far away. Gloss medium, ink, swirly swirly. I'm actually surprised at how glossy this gloss medium is by itself. It's definitely a sort of life hack for still water effects, especially if you're planning on using tints. It certainly looks very alien and very wet. For this one, I'm adding water texture, sand and pigment to make a super craggy rock texture. Then once it was dry, I mix some metallic mica powder with water, a little bit of gloss medium and poured over the top. This one makes me quite excited. You could totally use the same method, but with more neutral colors to create a natural earth looking base, but the metallics on this just make the base look truly alien. 
I ended up combining a few of these methods for my crazy alien tyranid bases. Due to the nature of my chaotic methods, I can't give you exact measurements. Please don't ask me for exact measurements. But I can tell you which materials I used. Going with similar vibes to the blue tester, I went with a green stuff world purple pigment and water texture first and added some sand for cragginess. Then I took a peachy coloured mica powder, mixed it with some gloss medium and water, poured it over the top. I did also add a few drops of red ink around to make the terrain look more organic and diverse. Mixing these three methods on one base means that each base is going to look unique and tie together at the same time. Maybe one Tyranid will look better with a more purple base and another with more orange, so I can kind of shift the terrain to match the model, but keep them all looking like they're from the same metallic, Martian, strange looking world. I also added the same colours to some DAS air drying clay, which I rolled out with a Green Stuff World Alien Hive rolling pin. To tie them in with a base, I squished some wood filler in and whacked some little aquarium plants on. Et voila! Whilst mixing the green goo looking tester, I got the idea to add some goo to my Turvigon model's egg sac as well. This is a kind of kit bash already, in the sense that I stuck the egg sac where it ain't meant to be. It should go underneath on the belly, but it's my favourite part of the model and I wanted it to be on display. I've been meaning to showcase my Tyranids for ages, because I've painted a lot more than just my Termagants now. But I took so long to decide on their bases that I didn't feel like I could show you. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to have a proper look at my Tyranid army, but more to the point, do you think I chose the right base idea? I think there are a multitude of options here, many of which could have looked cool. I think my second favourite has to be the purple wood filler, and I might end up finding another army to use it on. I'm actually very proud of this one with the coral looking foliage. Anyway, let me know which you would have chosen and hopefully I've inspired some of you to experiment with some crazy colours as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and hopefully you'll see more Tyranids from me soon. Okie dokie, bye!